Um, King Pack says, I'm tired of these chat niggas, man. Get mad at you for talking about Drake. Drake is the number one rapper in the world. He makes amazing music, whether you like it or not. Everything in the rap world revolves around him. It's like getting mad about CNN for talking about Obama. Yeah, man, yeah, Drake dominates the fucking news, dog. Like, like he literally just dominates the shit. Yo, think about it. Drake and Gucci about to have an album. You got to talk about it. Drake and Kanye about to have an album. You got to talk about it. Drake's on Hottest Tour. You got to talk about it. Like, what, what, what do you, what do you want? who do you want me to talk about? Lil Yachty's tour? Lil Yachty's tour for 2,000 people coming out? Or the nigga who's pulling out 20,000? Come on now. Come on. So I said, Cole sold a million. Yeah, yeah, but yo, you can't find nothing going on with Cole right now. Like, I would love to talk about J. Cole, but where is this nigga? <laughs> like, find this nigga first. Where is Cole? <laughs> Where is Cole? Y'all gotta find J. Cole, man. Out of the hottest rapper, out of the top five hottest rappers, only one is dominating the, the news. Got him. Oh, great catch. Only ones dominating the news, and that's what it is. Cole at the homeless. Where is Cole, though? Like, where is he? I'm serious. Yo, tell Cole I, I want to cover him, but, like, where is he? What is he doing? Like, where? I know Big Sean about to finish up his album. Yo, some of these niggas, they be non-existent when they ain't putting out a project. If they're not if they're not putting out a project, these niggas don't be on remixes. They don't be doing shit. He said on the studio. Yeah, so what y'all want me to talk, talk about? Oh, yo, yesterday, man. Yo, J. Cole took a nap in the studio. Oh, man, that shit was lit. Like, what y'all talk about? Like, there ain't nothing to talk about these other niggas. You got to almost talk about J. Like, you can't even... T like, niggas like Uzi and Yachty, they're not even at that level where they demand that much talk. But among the top 10 people, it's Drake still dominating the headlines. Nikki has even fell back. Like, what is Nikki doing? But, of course, Nikki's working on some other shit. But only, yo, yo, this nigga hasn't left the fucking media for, like, he hasn't left the media for, for like, a significant period for, like, two years. Think about, think about... Tell me what we should be talking about. That's the... That, listen, nobody's talking about Yachty. All right? Get the fuck out of here. Okay? Actually, we, I am about to talk about Yachty. There's a video going up about Yachty tomorrow. Yachty and Anna's back. But, um... What what should we be talking about? Black Youngster? Black Youngster? Okay, Black Youngster's playing with his money again. G Herbo? What is there to talk about G Herbo? Like, I'm saying these niggas don't dominate the media. And, and also, these niggas are marginally known. Like, yo, think about it. G Herbo hasn't had an album out. I want y'all to think about that. Imagine talking about a nigga who hasn't even had an album out yet. He hasn't even put out a first album yet. What are we talking about? <laughs> Y'all want to talk about how he almost got his chain took or, or he was in a fight? Like, what are we going to talk about? Let, give me five things for us to talk about G Herbo. Because I, I'm going to show all of y'all that basically you can't escape talking about Drake. Whether you like him or hate him, you can't escape talking about Drake. The nigga dominates him. Give me five things to talk about G Herbo. Talk about all white G. <laughs> you see, y'all niggas, y'all niggas is trolls. Y'all niggas is trolls. Talk about Kanye's video. Yeah, Kanye video is. Oh, okay. It's the same with Kanye though. It's the same with Kanye. You can't escape talking about Kanye. Like, like I mean, me personally, like, like a music video like that, like it's cool. I, I, I liked it a lot, but um. I'm, when it comes to talking about Kanye, I'm more interested in talking about the music he's putting out. Like, all, all this little, like, fashion shit. Like, he, he did a bunch of, he did a rant that all he did was shout people out. And we are talking about Kanye. What the fuck? And we are talking about Kanye because we're talking about Kanye's music. But I'm talking about these other dudes. Like, who else? Like, if you look at my, if you look at my channel, we've talked about Kanye. We've talked about Drake. Drake Kanye, Drake Kanye, Drake Kanye. Who else should we be talking about? Talk about DJ Khaled? 
Man, man, if you don't get the fuck out of here. Got him. Woo! Oh, we out. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Talk about the Yeezys? My nigga, I'm not a fashion dude like that. Maybe if Ian Connor comes on, we can talk about some Yeezys or some shit. Oh, I miss this shit, man. Fuck. Talk about Lil Dicky? What the fuck are we going to talk about Lil Dicky about? Like, like, get, okay. To the person who mentioned Lil Dicky, name me five things we could talk about Lil Dicky. Name me five. <laughs> because what I'm saying is that the media covers popular shit. <laughs> Relevant shit. Like, if I have to go look up something to... Look, like Wale. Wale got an album coming out. Give me five things to talk about Wale. I can't talk about Wale without talking about Meek. Right? That's just what it is. Niggas just don't got nothing going on that we should be talking about. We could talk about what's the problem, why, why Wale isn't considered, blah, blah. But after that, what else we talk about? Talk about who? Talk about Chance the Rapper? Chance is dope. I love Chance. I heavily endorse Chance on here. <clears throat> Actually, I would play a lot more Chance, but I, I think some of y'all niggas is real haters. Talk about 50 Cent? No, we talk about 50 a good amount. We talk about 50 a good amount. Oh, shit. But when it comes to music, there's nothing to talk about 50, though. Like, I mean, we can talk about power. Let me see. Don't tell me this is before the half. Oh, my God. This happened before the half. Talk about Tory Lanez. There's nothing to talk about Tory Lanez. You can't talk about Tory Lanez without talking about Drake. See, he, he, listen. The people who say we talk about Drake too much hate Drake. That's just what it is. You can't escape it. If a nigga is, is, is a nigga is that popular and every... Yo, Chance... No, no. Tory Lanez had an interview and I looked at the comments. Everybody said, I skipped through this. He ain't talk about Drake. Because I think he specifically told him. He said, let's not talk about Drake. Let's talk about me. Niggas ain't wanna... What the fuck are you gonna listen to Tory Lanez about? Like, I'm talking about interesting. Like, you could talk about the music, right? We could talk about the music, but we're talking about topics. I'm talking about topical or event-based things that happens. Young Joe got arrested. That's an event. What are you gonna talk about? Like, some of these niggas, they don't make the... They don't make the news. <laughs> Which is good for them. Like, you don't have to make the news. But other than your music, there's not much to discuss about you. Talk about Bishop, Bishop Don Juan? For what? We could talk about Thug. Thug got a lot going on. Thug got a lot going on. We could talk about Thug. But listen, right now, it's usually people around their album time, you could talk about them. Like Thug, I mean, Thug usually stays in the fuckery. So you always could talk about Thug. Um, you could talk about C. Breezy. He's always doing some shit on Instagram. Right? You could always talk about Drake. He always got some shit going on, whether he's beefing or he's claiming he's about to drop new music. You, you, there's a lot to talk about him. Ye always got some bullshit popping. Ye don't stay quiet for too long. Right? But some of these other niggas, listen, if your favorite artist is, Jake, is J. Cole and, and Kendrick, why don't we talk about... There's not much to talk about them niggas, unfortunately. There's not much. They get their props, and after that, that's it. Like, the niggas don't have it. stuff going on. Talk about who? Ray Schremer? Ray Schremer is cool. Ray, Ray Schremer is cool. I, I think they're kind of interesting. Ray Schremer is kind of interesting. Um, they, they just dropped their project, right? They're, of course, um, I think maybe they're having similar thoughts to what Quavo is having. Like, you know what I mean? I think that they're exploring a little bit of the, the, the solo type of thing. But... Ray Schremer, you could actually, Ray Schremer actually got some stuff going on. But most of these guys y'all like, they're boring as paint. You can't even talk to them. Can't even talk about them. Playboy Cardi. Yo, yo, I like Playboy Cardi. But, but Playboy Cardi, like, he got to put out more music. Like, I think everyone has said the same thing about him. There's not much to talk about him either. Put out more music, my guy. Because I feel like he's getting left behind in the Yachty's, the Uzi's, and that type of wave. And the Kodak's. They're all leaving him behind. Did he even make the, 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 the freshman list? Neil drop a Kendrick stand? No, no, no. He likes that type of type of, he's that type of hip-hop. And I can understand why. One person we could talk about. 
You see, y'all want me to talk about some irrelevant niggas. Like, some niggas who really don't, like, like, we could have a conversation. You see, I'm not just talking about niggas' music in general. Like, y'all niggas know how I feel about these guys' music, for the most part. We could talk about um, Yachty and the Biggie, like, thing. Like, he don't know much Biggie songs. Those are good conversations we can have. We could talk about Vince Staples and Vince Staples' disdain for the industry. That's what we could talk about. Other than that, I'm telling y'all, Drake dominates the shit. And if you like, if you hate Drake, nigga, you, you gonna have to deal with it. You can't do nothing about it. That yo, yo, if you don't like Drake, it gotta be hard. Drake gonna have you in your feelings. Yo, I used to be like, I used to like argue with niggas on my Instagram comments like, yo, why you post so much Drake? Then I, at one point, I'm like, yo, nigga, you just hate Drake. I can't do nothing about it. You gotta get over it. <laughs> the nigga's the most popular guy. Whatever rapper is your favorite, he's twenty times more popular. Blame your favorite rapper. That's what I keep telling y'all, okay? Don't be getting mad. Blame your favorite rapper for not being... Di- like, like yo, it, it's like Kerry Hilson complaining at Beyonce. <laughs> why Beyonce getting 15 minutes? Shut the fuck up! Yo, whack! All right? The nigga who fucking you don't even want to talk about your dumb ass, all right? Get some clout. It is what it is. There's some people that just on top. You can't hate it. You gotta live with it. Okay? Tell y'all what it, what it is. I'm telling y'all what it is. I gotta shut the fuck up. If you don't like Drake, that nigga on top. Period. Niggas on top. Niggas gonna talk about him daily. That's just how it is. There's gonna be a Drake video daily. Then, then like, let a nigga take his spot. We talk about that nigga daily. Do y'all be hitting up ESPN talking about why y'all keep talking about LeBron? No! LeBron's that nigga. Talk about him every fucking day. He's that nigga. He's the GOAT. One of the GOATs. I don't want to say the GOAT. Let me stop. He's the best right now. You got to talk about that nigga. Do you? Do y'all hit up? You think I would hit up like, yo, hey, yo Skip Bayless, yo, yo Stephen A. Yo, talk about Damian Lillard. Talk about Lillard. But what about Lillard? Fuck out of here. Nigga, go rap all sway or some shit. We talking about LeBron. That's what it is. I gotta understand. Niggas ain't... Fuck y'all what niggas be talking about. I, I, gotta, I gotta really understand what this shit is. Talk about Famous Dex. I mean, Famous Dex is cool. And none of these other guys, like, I don't got nothing against them. They're cool, but... Y'all gotta get over the fact that niggas are just popular and running shit. You can you can hate them all you want and they's running shit. Like I know some of y'all hate the fuck out of LeBron, but do y'all be sending messages to ESPN? Stop talking about LeBron. <laughs> what? Man, get your dumb ass. Man, get your dumb ass off this goddamn network and go watch some other shit. Get get your ass out of here. You gotta talk about the niggas who are running shit. If yo. If Wayne was running shit, we'd be talking about this nigga lean addiction for a fucking month. Trust me. And Wayne is still running this shit. But if Wayne had it, like, if any time, yo, Wayne, yo, when Wayne has a lawsuit, we talk about it. If if Wayne has a fucking law, you think if anybody sues, let me see one of these whack ass things that like, I don't even want to. Like, I mean, yo, lawsuits come across my desk all the time for some boring ass, non-essential niggas. Who gives a fuck? Somebody suing Wayne? Wayne, we care. I care about Wayne getting sued. A bum ass fucking rapper? No. I'm looking at it like, yo, good, sue that nigga. That nigga needs something to do. Because he in the studio making fuckery. What's wrong with y'all, man? Yo, I like to, listen, everybody talks about future though. When it came to, yo, when, when it came to, when it came to the Sierra shit, believe me, I felt like the coverage went even further than it should have been. Listen, Rich the Kid, nobody gives a fuck. Rich the Kid, wife, keep blasting them on Instagram. They send me a million screenshots. But I'm looking at y'all like, I barely care about Rich the Kid. Why do I care about his fucking wife being mad that he's cheating? Again, some niggas, they just ain't that hot. I'm telling y'all, do not be blaming the outlets. Blame your favorite rapper. Trust me. When my nigga Allen Iverson was in the league, he get talked about every day. You know why? Because he's that nigga, okay? You ever see Eric Snow, Aaron McKee jump up? Why they ain't talking about me on Sports Center? I dropped 20 last night. Shut the fuck up. Go 
to practice, you bum ass nigga. It's what it is. Truth is the truth, man. Y'all gotta stop hating on the popular dudes. It, it, hold on. Just to even make the point even more clear. E News, TMZ. Justin Bieber reactivated his fucking Instagram and it's a big fucking story. Why y'all on Justin Bieber? Because he's fucking the guy. Okay? Nobody gives a fuck if your favorite rapper deletes all this shit or got hacked. Who gives a fuck? You do. That's it. You and five other people. That's it. Unfortunately, we don't cover just marginal shit. You feel me? We cover the broad spectrum. And unfortunately, popularity does matter. Okay? When Bieber does some shit, Bieber just fucked his bitch on the beach. By the way, salute to Bieber's my guy, Bieber Valley. We care. Oh, shit. Bieber fucking these hoes out here. Yo, this rapper's taping him fucking, like, this rapper's taping himself fucking and leaking it. Nobody gives a fuck. I'm trying to tell you, I got to stop hating on popular niggas. And I know y'all disdain for Drake. And I said, listen, yo, if I really wanted to, like, defend Drake, I could defend Drake all day. I don't even defend him that much. Like, I be posting shit critical of him. But the the thing I, I won't apologize for is you can't say stop talking about him. You can't ignore the nigga. He's the hottest guy. We've never seen a guy this hot in hip-hop. Ever. At least in my lifetime. Wayne was hot, but he ain't, wasn't this goddamn hot. Like, this nigga is fucking scorching. Fucking pop star walking around. I mean, like, yo, you see, y- y'all don't even know these things. When Drake came out, when Drake came out on the motherfucking VMAs, the ratings, yo, th- th- there's these are actual stats. It spiked. Beyonce performed for 15 minutes. It dipped. Well, despite the first it dipped. Because niggas like me was looking like, Beyonce, what the fuck are you saying, girl? Love you and everything. I won't tweet nothing bad about you, but what the fuck are these songs, man? What the fuck? Well, what is this shit? Again, you can't be popularity. You can't. You know what I mean? Sorry. Can't be popularity. Niggas is popular. Unfortunately, that's what people want to hear about. Like, you, ever, you ever been to media, media takeout? Nicki Minaj is insanely popular. Insanely popular. Nicki Minaj, if, if, she, if she farts, they got a story up about how she dumped me. You know why? Because she's insanely fucking popular. Nobody give a fuck about Dej Lovin and Dirk. What the fuck? Y'all gotta know yourself, man. Like, yo, this, this ain't no, this ain't, there's no parody in entertainment. You have the man who runs this shit, and then, or the, or the woman, could be the woman, because Taylor Swift runs this shit. Taylor Swift went to jury duty yesterday. She didn't go to the VMAs. Huge story, even bigger than future performing. You know why? It's fucking Taylor Swift. Nobody says, stop talking about Taylor Swift. Fuck out of here. You need to go go to a rap blog then. We co- that's what TMZ gonna tell you. Yo, you need to go to a rap blog then. We covering Taylor Swift. This bitch was in jury duty taking pictures. That's important. She's fucking popular, insanely popular. So when y'all when y'all mentioning some of these rappers who I almost got more t- Twitter followers and Instagram followers then, who really do you think gives a fuck about them? Think about it. You, your three homies, like ten other niggas down the block. Three niggas is Australia. I'm telling y'all the truth. Y'all don't understand how the media works. I run a media company. I don't run a parody company. I'm not, rap is not no league for me. I do media. You feel me? I get stories. The, the ones who are, which are most important. The Briss Breezy joint, which I put out this morning. I didn't stream last night. Should have came out last night. Briss Breezy, Drake. Briss Breezy, Wayne. Huge! Nobody give a fuck if, like, even one of your favorite rappers died. That nigga got a million followers. Like, yo, I wait two days. I reported, like, three days from now. It's what it is. And, yo, I'm trying to give y'all the facts. Yo, I don't even use this guy's death in vain, but a guy died in Baltimore. I reported it two days late. You think if Drake got punched, I would report it 20 seconds later. Meek got punched 20 seconds later. Jay got tripped. Or, or, or I don't know, Salon's like, like fucking 
punch him in the eye 30 seconds later. A nigga who we barely know. I'm like, they won't even know about this shit until I report it. I don't, I, I'm on my own time. I, I have a big board. Urgent. Anything with Drake's name. That's why if you look at the tiles. Anything with Drake's name goes right to Urgent. That shit goes out immediately. A nigga who has no name recognition. Which my name might even be bigger than his. I put out what I want to. Not essential, irrelevant nigga. If Drake goes to court for some dumb shit, it's instant news. What I'm trying to tell y'all is that y'all can't get mad at Drake. It's not standing. There's niggas who are extremely popular. They dominate everything else. All you irrelevant niggas, you get the crumbs. That's just how it works. That's how it works. That's how it works. And, and, and when it comes to rap, we got a couple pop stars. Yo, if Nicki does anything. Yo, if Nicki tweets out any dumb... Yo, if Nick, well, you see, I don't try to, I don't cover her relationship. I stay away from that because that's like kind of almost shade room type of stuff. Because sometimes, like, I don't really know what's going on with that. So you know, what I mean, I don't want to be giving my opinion. Like, yo, she should leave his ass. Like, the fuck? Like, I'm, a, I'm a dude. Like, I, I want to fuck Nikki. Like, I be hating. You get me? So I don't really give my opinion on that. But like, if Nikki tweets out like, yo, yo, all these bitches fake. That's huge news. Your favorite, your favorite fucking rapper could drop an album. Nobody cares. I'm trying to tell you. Like, if, you're, if your favorite rapper ain't on Nicki's level, nobody cares. You just don't know. I'm trying to tell y'all. Nobody cares. I'm, I, I'm trying to give y'all. Because, I, hold on. Let me, I got to turn this fan on now. I think I'm sweating this shit. I'm trying to tell y'all why Drake is talked about. I have a tool who tells me who are the most popular people in the land. Period. As of May 2016, Drake, and this is on social media, it's not really just popularity in a vacuum because Beyonce is probably still more popular than Drake, but the most talked about person in music is Drake since May 2016. You know what that means? Anything this nigga does, you have to cover it. You can't ignore it. Nigga puts up some bullshit ass billboard talking about like he he has three or four billboards up right now. This nigga's talking about some dumb shit. Like you know what I mean? He, he, he's so, nigga's so fucking popular, he don't gotta make sense to really promote shit. You gotta talk about it. When I post Yachty, some of y'all might think everybody because y'all might be in the younger crowd. You might be like, oh, everybody knows. But I got people that's like forty that be on my Instagram. They be like, yo, what's this trash? Somebody actually sent me a long ass thing about your academics. I feel like you're helping with the decline of rap because you're posting trash like Lil Yachty and Lil Uzi. Like, stop posting. And I'm telling like, yo, them niggas are popular. When Uzi, when U, like Uzi's so popular, like, I have to post this shit. Niggas, niggas popular. And again, I'm not posting and saying it's good. I post it and ask people if it's good. It's all about goddamn popularity. Y'all gotta know. Y'all got to know. Y'all gotta understand. The reason why I told y'all one time, I was like, yo, Drake should fall back a little bit because he's dominated the fucking media. For like, yo, ever since he's been beefing last year, the nigga's been in every, yo, he's at every game. Yo, we don't even see Cole front court, or not, I mean court side and nothing. What does Cole do? Like, I, I, I want to have, I wanna, yo, Cole, because you get a side ticket, because you like, I don't know, like, damn, nigga, get a parking ticket, get a, like, damn, what do you do outside of music? Now, the thing is, if you're somebody like Cole, you're cool with that. You don't want to be in the media for anything else but your music. That's fine. But, of course, if you understand what it takes to be a pop star, tabloids, the media helps build people like Justin Bieber. It helps build them into something larger than life where even when Bieber hasn't even put out the biggest records, he's still the biggest figure because everybody's talking about him. Why do you think Kylie Jenner is so popular? I I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all that y'all can learn life. It's not like some Drake standard shit. Because if Drake lost his popularity today, I would not be covering that nigga. I ain't got time for you. I would listen to you because I like your music. But I ain't got what I'm going to be talking about you for. When the majority of people don't either know you or don't want to hear about you anymore. 
become a popular like niggas who are popular. That's just what it is. Nowadays, the media, and really because of social media, and I guess that is part of the media, the media is almost like powerless. Like if every nigga is, if everybody's talking about with, with like trending topics, trending topics already tell you what people are talking about. You can't set the agenda to something else. Or if you try to continually, you will not be successful. Like, pull at this. The reason why Joe Budden got that much publicity is because of Drake's name. Yo, I had Drake fans saying, yo, you just love Budden. You like talking about him. No. We have a popular guy with a non-popular guy. It evens out to be a good story. Shut up. Get over it. Get over it. Yeah, man, y'all got to stop hating the popular dudes. Because, yo, I wish there was... There's other popular people in hip-hop, but other than Kanye... Who else gives us the type of fuckery or, or gives us stuff to talk about other than Drake? Is Drake Kanye. I mean, Jay-Z's like, nigga's probably having a whole battle with, with motherfucking Just For Men trying to make sure he don't go gray, right? Because he's like 60, right? Let me see what else. Drake, Kanye, Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Of course, Nikki's in there. Then who else is like almost like pop level? That's actually participating in this shit. Nobody. Nobody. <coughs> Why is it always based on popularity? Because when you have an audience, right? Unlike, like I did a I did an interview with a battle rap podcast. They cover a league, which which is such a niche audience. That the audience usually knows or fucks with everybody, and it, and to be honest, it's a little bit more parody based there. But the reason why I created the Warren Shot Rack is that when a nigga told me to cover Little J and Tato, a nigga named Tato, a fucking nigga named Pete Rico, talking about yo, you gotta call your Pete Rico ran Pete Rico chase, and I'm looking, I'm like nigga, nobody cares about this but you. And I got it from a good section of people. And I said, you know what? If there's enough people, I'll create a- another thing just for y'all. So you could be on that Chicago shit all day. But niggas just did not want to hear me talk about Lil Wayne, Drake, Jay-Z, Tato. It didn't make sense. Tato? What are you talking about? Ball out? No. What's wrong with you? Come on, man. Again, y'all got to understand what it is. If your favorite rapper ain't being talked about enough, that nigga need to do something about his popularity. Okay? I'm trying to tell y'all what it is. <laughs> Somebody says, does 50, yo, 50, does, yo, 50, yo, first of all, yo, who covered, yo, there's no other channel. I don't even, like, I don't even look at complex stuff too much, but I don't even think they covered 50 Cent in depth with his bankruptcy shit like I did. And I even got another story that I'm going to cover for 50 with his bankruptcy. Because people don't care like that. But I know, yo, 50 always, 50 always got something going on. And even though we're not talking about him for the right reasons, I know he would like us to talk, talk about him for the music. He always got some shit going on. 50's still very popular. 50 always got some fucker going on. You feel me? I said I haven't heard K Dot's name. Yo, I can't find Kendrick. Where is Kendrick? We gotta get an APB on these niggas. Where they at? Is Chance overrated? Cut the fuck out. No, he's not. He's good. Ch Ch Chance deserves everything. Nah, 50 and broke. Have I ever met 50? No, I think I think I almost did though. Richard Kid is on the soundtrack for Madden. Congrats to him for that. <laughs> 